Hi, I'm Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits, and today I want to talk to my automotive folks about what I call silo or standalone F&I departments. Are they antiquated? Are you changing the way that you structure your F&I department? Personally, with a lot of our clients, we're suggesting that they move their finance and insurance people up with the sales managers. Since the beginning of Dealer Track Route 1 and the way that we're working and structuring deals today more at the desk with a lot of dealerships and just F&I, it's changed the game of what we're doing and often I'm finding that it's not necessary just to have a silo F&I department where one manager is just spinning paper and presenting menus and buttoning up deals. So we've been encouraging those F&I people to have their office right with the sales manager and yes, still have an office to paper and present the menu and sell but we're encouraging them to move up front with the managers. Why? Quicker in the process, quicker with the customer, part of the structure. I find that it helps with customer satisfaction, it helps with sales satisfaction, it helps with the F&I de uh, department in person because they're involved with the deal quicker, can talk to the customer. I just see nothing but positive that is coming out of this and I know that there's more than one way to do anything and there is no one way for everybody. But I'd be curious as to knowing what you think, if you're in the automotive industry, what we should do, what we should look at for the future. But I'm really looking at a lot of dealerships should no longer have what I call that silo F&I department. This is Mark Tewart with Tewart's Tidbits. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you like, at Mark Tewart. You can call me anytime you wish at 888-2-TEWART. And um, also go to my website at Tewart.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.